Good morning, guys. Welcome back to Gainesville Homes Daily. We've got six homes on the market since yesterday, the first of which 6,040 Dunbrook Terrace in Piedmont. It's in the uh, gated golf course community of Piedmont, uh, 509,900 Colonial, four bedrooms, three and a half baths, just under an eighth of an acre, 4,122 square feet total, 2,622 uh, square feet above grade. Um, with a fully finished basement, two-car garage, brick front, as you can see here. There's the interior. Looks like carpet throughout the living room, dining room with hardwood in the entryway foyer area. And hardwood looks like also over in the Eden kitchen area. Um, also, we have a two-story family room here. Lots of natural light coming through, master bedroom. We've got... Uh, this is downstairs. They have a media area, craft room, office, and a rec room. It's a little bit of everything down there. Um, it says that it is located on the golf course. Um, I didn't really see any golf course views. Perhaps there are. Um, but, you know, obviously if that's the case, then the price points make sense to be around that 509 number to be on the golf course, 4,100 4, square feet. Um, it seems to be in line with uh, other homes that have that type of square footage and that sit on golf courses as well. Uh, especially at Piedmont, nice, very nice community. 14315 Grackle Court, Meadows and Morris Farm, 349000 This is a detached colonial. Um, it's a smaller colonial. That's why the price tag is only three forty nine. in case you're wondering. Three bedrooms, three and a half baths, 0.166 of an acre, so a smaller lot, 1,882 square feet total. That's including the partially finished or the finished basement area. So um, not a huge home. Perfect for first-time ho home buyer. It's located... I want a cul-de-sac. Um, we'll go through the pictures here. We got vinyl siding on the exterior. There is no garage on this one. So they, there you can see is your parking to the back side of this home. May not be a big deal for first time home buyer. Nice hardwood floors when you come in. Here's the kitchen area. Looks like a pretty basic standard builder grade kitchen with some upgraded uh, stainless appliances. Looks like linoleum flooring in there that walks out to the back from the kitchen. So as you can see, a much smaller home, but I think it's a perfect starter home for somebody that doesn't want a town home. They don't want to be confined and be, you know, butting up against another house. Still have, you know, a reasonable, similar square footage as a town home, obviously. But you get the feel with the lot that you, you know, you have a lot more extra space because you have windows on you know, all sides of your home versus most of the townhomes, just two sides. So uh, definitely a decent price there. I think that one's going to move quick because it shows very well on the inside with that nice hardwoods. 15335 Mountain Crest. This is a Mountain Crest Estates. Four bedrooms, four and a half baths. is on a 10-acre track. Was uh, This is looks like it's a brand new home that's been built. Uh, 947490 Um Let's see, we've got, well... Isn't that nice? We don't have any square footage on here. No taxable living area, no square footage, so nobody really knows how many square feet this is. There it is. Uh, spacious and understatement, combining over 6,000 square feet, so I don't know if that's including um, the partially finished basement. I'm assuming it probably is, and we have a two-car silo garage. No pictures to go off of. Really hard to make a judgment call on price because, you know, up towards a million dollars, you would you would think um, it would be very very nice on the inside. Uh, and a 6,000 square feet just because of the 10 acres. I can't make a determination if the value is where it should be. Um, we need to see the quality of the upgrades on that one. Here's another new one. Darby Knoll Drive, Wentworth Green, 609,990, 4,031 square feet, uh, 0.205, so a little under a quarter acre lot. Four bedrooms, two and a half baths. Built in 2014. This one looks um, to be built, two-car garage. Um, so obviously this is a photo similar to what it would look like. Obviously, there's some options, and, and they're gonna, and they're going to vary, and the, the price of the home is going to vary depending upon the options that you choose. So this is located, um, you know, the sales office is located at 7044 Darby Knoll Drive. We'd be glad to take you out there, show you the different models and floor plans. Make sure you have an agent represent you. As always, it costs you nothing to do that, um, and you know, it, it's really to represent your best interests. Next one is 14010 Flying Feather Court. This is in Rocky Run, uh, older community, built in 89, 399,000, four bedrooms, two and a half baths, just under a quarter acre lot, 2,100 square feet above grade. We do have, uh, looks like a 
sidecar garage um, with an unfinished basement, so that is something to consider here. Um, we'll go through the picks, brick front. As you can see here, here's the kitchen. Looks like the cabinets are same old cabinets with just uh, granite thrown in there as well as stainless appliances. So it's been updated, just not the cabinetry. Kitchen flows down to the family room area. It's going to be a pretty standard colonial, I have a feeling, as far as the you know the, the flow of it and the space. Here's the unfinished basement. You know, for a cool, almost a quarter acre lot, it could be priced just a touch high for a much older home. Only 2,100 square feet. I'm um, not that it's priced bad, but it's just you know it it is a little bit older. Need, needs probably, um, you know, it does have an updated kitchen somewhat. Uh, I'm just not jumping up and down. It's for night built house built in '89. It's okay. Six zero one zero Wake Crest Court is located in Piedmont. Five hundred twenty-five thousand four bedrooms, two and a half baths. Point uh, one four three of an acre, so it's a smaller lot. We do have a two-car garage which you pull in from in the front, but it is a side load. 3,138 square feet with an unfinished basement. So, you know, finishing off the basement would definitely give you a lot more space here. Built in 2003. Nice hardwood floors when you come in. Family room area, nice open to the kitchen with white cabinetry, stainless, or white cabinetry and granite countertops. Looks like a gas cooktop there as well. Not sure about how I feel about the white on the almost like beige color walls, um, but it's definitely something interesting I haven't seen. Lots of different color schemes going on here. Obviously that's something easy to change. Nice tray ceiling in the master bedroom with hardwood floors. Close through the master bedroom. Here's the unfinished basement area which has some huge potential if you finish that off and then here's the backyard and the views. Um, smaller lot obviously. Looks like there's a little slab patio there. So all in all, um, pretty pretty good looking home here. Um, there's some work to be done, obviously, with the basement. Uh, probably some painting changes that you might make. But 525 um, is reasonable um, for Piedmont especially. Uh, obviously, it's just a little bit smaller lot size, but if you go up to the quarter acre plus lots, they do get more expensive. Uh, if you'd like to schedule showings for any of these properties, give us a call 703-596-0011. Or visit us at Gainesville Homes Daily. And for those of you who chime in and watch our uh, Bristol Daily Homes, many we had released yesterday that we have our great home giveaway contest that started yesterday. Uh, we didn't do a video for Gainesville yesterday because there wasn't any homes that came on the market. So we want to give you guys the same chance and opportunity as the Bristol guys. This contest will run through the end of next year. If you go to findnorthernvahouses.com forward slash win, Find northernvahouses.com forward slash win. You can register to enter into this contest where there's a $100,000 grand prize and $10,000 bi-weekly prizes, which will go on um, for about uh, 16, I believe it's 16 bi-weekly $10,000 prizes and one $100,000 grand prize. You can read all the terms and conditions, but simple is registering your name, email address, and phone number. Agree to the terms and conditions. Remember that the main um, entry is going to require you to be pre-approved through our preferred lender. So you can click right up here at the top for her preferred lender, um, get the name and contact information, call him up, get pre-approved. His name is Brian Eller. Um, once you do that, you will then be approved for entry into this contest. Um, remember, this is just another way that we can give back um, and to be able to help people with $10,000 towards their down payments um, is a great way to do that. Um, so remember, findnorthernvahouses.com forward slash win. Only thing you have to do is fill that out and then for to be approved for entry into the contest, you just have to be pre-approved through our preferred lender. That's it. Uh, so that's all we got for today, guys. Hope everybody enjoys their day and we'll be back with you tomorrow. Take care.